So before this video even starts, I just wanted to mention that there is a fair use notice down in the description below because Vegas wouldn't work since I'm new to Vegas. I don't know a lot about it and that's why you'll see a Vegas watermark pop up. I know it's not professional, but I just wanted to give it a shot because I never used Vegas personally. So I thought it'd be a good idea and start here. But yeah, big shout out to Zildjian though. He let me use a couple of his clips in here. I have his permission down below. You can look at that. Everything in this video is in the description below. So that's all you need to know. The mic audio is a little bit off I don't know why but it just it sounds really bad so well, not really bad but it sounds a little bit watery but other than that please enjoy the video tell me what you think in the comments below and peace you can't handle the truth okay so I love how here he puts the you can't handle the truth intro which is what he always does and it's funny because out of all people to be putting that he's the one that can't handle it He's been called out plenty of times, and he never learns. It's it's insane to me how he thinks that other people can't handle this. Minutes ago, uh, do not click that link. Now, if you do own a PS4, click that link. You're going to love that trailer. Really? I can't click the link unless I own a PS4. Do you hear how asinine you sound right now, JTech? It's it's just it's funny at this point. Like, I don't even know why I'm wasting my breath on this guy. Fighting crime, so it confirms in the description that it's by Sony. No shit, it's not like they own the rights to Spider-Man or anything. I'm just gonna skip this part because he just reads the description on the screen. There's no use in me keeping it in here. Interactive Entertainment. It's a partnership with them, Insomniac Games, and Marvel. It's a three-person partnership, okay? If it was gonna go to another platform, Sony would not have to be involved in it. But they're involved in it, so it's not going to Okay, Sony can be involved in whatever they want. Some Sony published games have been ported over to other platforms, some with them being the main publisher and others with them being a secondary publisher for the game to go to certain regions, including but not limited to the Destiny series, Uncharted, Neo, and COD. I'm just saying that their name can be on it as a publisher, but it can still be available to other platforms. Anywhere. Uh, this guy tries to shame me, and I guess by shaming me, uh, he's also shaming other people that brought a Spider-Man t-shirt, including the developer themselves uh, that went to E3 with the identical Spider-Man t-shirt that I was wearing around New York City. Um, I'm going to get a new Spider-Man t-shirt when I return to New York City next Friday. Yes, JTEC, this guy is an idiot. I'll agree there, but you did make a whole video about being in New York City while wearing your Spider-Man t-shirt and stated how people in the Nintendo store were looking at you funny just because you were wearing a Spider-Man t-shirt. Do I even have to explain that they were probably looking at you funny because you looked like a jackass filming himself? Like, they probably were wondering what you were doing and they didn't want to be on camera so they avoided you. Seriously, here's the clip of what he said. I got a lot of mean looks from the Nintendo people. I highly doubt they know who the hell I was because I don't get on camera a lot. Um, but uh, I got I got a lot of props for that shirt when I went into the Sony store. Yes, you probably got props because they were like, oh, Spider-Man, cool. So good job, I guess. You finally got some recognition, but still failed to get recognition as an official YouTuber. Um, to take more pictures of the, the landmarks to compare in my epic comparison to uh, Insomniac Spider-Man game and the real images that I have of New York City. His epic comparison, you know where he'll say things such as how everything is realistic and how the game looks just like real life. You know I'm right, people. And then he'll give the credit to Sony and then Insomniac second, and he'll say Sony got the credit for getting such an amazing game, even though they do own the rights to the Spider-Man series. I do acknowledge that, but it's pretty sad. He, like, admires the company before the developer that made the game. So, uh, let's continue. Um, uh, JTech is clueless about gaming and tech. Anyway, who the hell wears a Spider-Man t-shirt when someone is 30 years old, laugh out loud. Um, I'm not 30 years old, so you got that information wrong, and I don't see a reason that anybody shouldn't be excited about Spider-Man. Besides the fact that it is an exclusive game. He's, he's always exciting. People go to see the movies. Um, there's like three movies this year. Uh, the, the Marvel Infinity War, Spider-Man was in there. Everybody was excited. Uh, there's a Venom movie. He's a iconic spider-man villain uh then you got into the spider-verse at the end of the year and of course the spider-man video game i don't think age is going to restrict anybody from being excited about this spider-man phenomenon this year it you forgot to mention that anyone can see the movies it's not exclusively locked to anything at all unless you live in a country that doesn't allow that type of distribution but even then you can still get a copy through different methods which i do not encourage but it's still an option to some people doesn't really matter what the fanboys want to try to make you feel but 
yeah, I'm gonna always be excited. It doesn't matter what you want to say about my age. I'm willing to bet if the game wasn't a PlayStation exclusive, you wouldn't be nearly as excited as you are since it is. I wear. We're gonna continue to something that's very important that everybody should do. If you see a PC fan or Xbox fan spreading misinformation about the exclusivity of this game, you should alert Insomniac. I did it two times in one week, and I got replies every time. Maybe this kid, whatever his age, got told by someone that it was and got excited about it. Spreading misinformation is a thing you're pretty good at, JTEC. I mean, shit, Rags for Tangent and Zildjian have called you out for it, and you just still do it. Just look at your channel. JTEC, you spread misinformation in Zill's livestream also about Spider-Man being a good game, and it still hasn't come out yet. How do you know the game is going to be good? Are you basing this off of pre-release awards? If that's the case, then every Call of Duty should have been amazing, but they weren't. Two. I like this Tom comment that Cameron just said. He also bragged how good Spider-Man is a good game yet. It's not out yet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That is also true. I was going like, to I was gonna mention it's not out yet, but I'll probably have some sort of excuse for that. Yeah. Uh, this is one of them. He says, they're putting the PS4 Spider-Man on PC. I alerted Insomniac right underneath his uh, post. And you can see his name is right there, and it says, we aren't. So they confirm that it's not going to PC, and they're not putting it on there. Just hear the excitement in his voice, because a game for this platform isn't going to any other platform. Um, this guy says, at PlayStation, seriously, put this on every console. Not everyone can afford a $400 console to play a game they've waited forever to play. I agree with the comment. I can't agree with that quote. Of course you can't agree with it. At this point, writing my script because I'm a rags and glink clone, what else can I say? Because that's the only excuse you have against me, JTIC. This video just gets dumber and dumber the longer I have to sit and watch it to make timestamps. Like, my God. Um, you can afford a $300 console. That's the normal PS4. The $400 console is the PS4 Pro. And I can't agree that everybody's waited forever for this game because we only knew about it for two plus years now so two plus years is not forever um but whatever i leave this clip in for a reason because jtec is basically saying well you can't afford the ps4 pro but you can't afford a base ps4 just to get that instead jtec some people aren't fortunate enough like others are maybe someone has an xbox that was handed down to them and that's all they have you see the problem with exclusives is that a certain platform is saying no you can't have this game because we own it so buy our system or leave maybe you can justify spending 60 dollars for a game but having to go out and buy a whole new console just to play that one game is completely absurd the only reason i would get a playstation is because my brother has one and some of my friends do and being able to play with them again would be fun and this is why i'm a heavy supporter of cross play then again sony doesn't want to do that because let's lock our system to get more money for ourselves but they fail to realize that consumers love when companies are open and practice open consumer practices instead of anti-consumer practices which is why i switched to the pc in the first place I was tired of being screwed over and told what I could and couldn't do. Fanboys see these companies as their friends and in reality they're not, especially in the console markets with paying to play online, paid name changes, closed markets, and etc. The only thing I pay for on PC is services are G2A Plus and Origin Access Premier, which even those took me a lot of convincing to buy. Holy shit, that was a spiel, and also two years is 730 days, so that's quite a while. Uh, we continue, it says, you'll make more money if you put it on every console PC X bone and PS4 um, that's not confirmed uh, due to the fact I've talked to a lot of people a prime example Crash Bandicoot sold 3 million on just the PlayStation platform alone but it has not sold 3 million on three additional platforms Nintendo switch Xbox one and the PC Yes, JTEC. It didn't sell that many copies on other platforms. You got to remember that the game was out for a year before it hit other platforms, but still Activision and Vickers are going to make extra money now that it is available on all platforms. So I'm looking for a million from each of those platforms so Activision could give us an update on the sales number of Crash Bandicoot, but they have not done that. So it has not sold that. Um, so just because you put it on multiple platforms doesn't mean it's going to sell a lot. 
Sales don't matter, honestly speaking, unless you're the companies behind publishing and developing the game. All that matters, well, at least to me, is gameplay and having everyone get to experience that game. Um, look at God of War selling 5 million in one month. There are tons of multiplats that came out right near God of War, before God of War, or after God of War that did not sell 5 million in one month. So that's the lamest excuse I've heard, and I will be able to combat that a lot more after Spider-Man has been available to the public for one month, and we see the sales report. Seriously, like, my brain cells have committed suicide. Like, you think I'm joking, but I have a massive headache and hard-on from all the great content I'm getting by making you look stupid. Uh, we continue here. This guy says, at Insomniac Games, seriously, what needs to happen for us to get a PC port of hashtag Spider-Man PS4? I want this game more than you possibly could imagine, but I don't have a PS4. Have you no heart? Okay, this guy wants Insomniac to make a PC port, and the have you no heart thing is a joke, just like the PC Master Race is. Uh, now, I don't understand this at all. Um, it's It seems like he's an adult, if this is his real image. It seems like he's well and capable of scrounging up $300 over a course of 12 months again jtech not everyone is fortunate enough to buy your beloved ps4 and um i it's just him being stubborn at that point like you know you can afford it but you choose not to yep being stubborn by asking a dev to port a game that to him and to many other people looks good according to jtech that's stubborn since you won't support the console it was launched on so if that's the case then anybody playing undertale on a ps4 needs to buy the game on pc since you were all just port begging scum you see the stupidity in that right so how about you choose to ignore the game um you don't have the platform that it's on just don't worry about it you're kidding, right? Like, there's petitions online for Sea of Thieves and Cuphead to be released on PlayStation, so I guess they should just up and forget about the game since they can't get it on Xbox. Like, that's your logic, and it's sad. I'll have links to those petitions below for you to check out, and actually, fourth wall break here, but a kid commented on this petition, and it brings a lot of value to this argument for exclusives being anti-consumer. Uh, this is another time I helped Insomniac out this past week. Uh, this guy says, the new Spider-Man is a port. It was made on a computer, but it is not the same kind of port as a re-release. Okay, this comic confuses my brain, but what I'm getting is he's saying the game was designed and developed on a PC, which majority of games are, and then they got put onto a dev console and have it ran on the hardware it is designed for. This is what he said, um, and then I let Insomniac know. Uh, let them know by a, a screenshot and um, let them know exactly what he said. Uh, they have confirmed... It's not a port. Anyone saying that doesn't understand how video games are made. So, there you go. Um, any PC fans starting to tell you that it is a computer port, please pay them no mind. Insomniac has came out and confirmed that that is not true. Of course you would tell Insomniac. Like, I love Insomniac, don't get me wrong, but I wonder if they're starting to get tired of you. Um, we also continue with the port begging. Not port begging, but at this point, I'm not going to waste my breath to explain the difference between begging and asking. All I'm going to say is there's a link in the description to the differences. At Insomniac Games, will Spider-Man be coming out on PC anytime at all? Now, remember, this was just last week. <laughs> this was August. This was August 8th, 2018. People were still begging for the game asking but whatever and even if this was only a week ago well about like a week and a half ago because this video has taken me a while to get out wouldn't that be a good thing for insomniac because people want to enjoy their game on their preferred platforms of choice especially this close to their launch day all that should be telling insomniac is that they made a quality game that fans of the spider-man franchise want to enjoy uh, to be on pc this is port begging at its finest Really, again, JTEC, port begging. My god, you love that word just as much as everyone in the gaming community loves to shut you down. Here's another one. Um, new Spider-Man game should be on PC too. Also Xbox and Nintendo Switch. No, it shouldn't. August 3rd. It shouldn't. Okay, and why shouldn't it? You failed to back up a point again, JTEC. I'm not surprised. Listen, this is about the same guy. <laughs> It says, at Insomniac, how many retweets for a PC port of hashtag Spider-Man PS4? Once again, uh, this was in August. This was April 4th. Well, a tweet like that helped Carter Wilkerson get nuggets from Wendy's, so it's not that far-fetched. 
but the same guy. I need hashtag Spider-Man to get a PC port pretty bad. That is port begging right there. Grade A port begging. You are actually a fucking idiot. Here's another one. I wish the new Spider-Man game was available on PC. Platform exclusives are dumb. Well, PC has more platform exclusives, so I guess that's a dumbass platform, huh? You failed to mention that this kid is 12. I don't mind you going after people more mature, but seriously, a 12-year-old. Even in his bio, it says he is 12, and you didn't blur out his picture or his name, and his profile picture has changed now, so that's good, but even his bio says that he's a huge Spider-Man fan. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter. Just go show this kid some love, man. Seriously, he had to suffer being put into a JTEC video. Also, most PC exclusives can't be ported due to financial reasons, graphical reasons, and lack of controls. There's another one. It will probably end up on PC like the previous Spider-Man games. The previous Spider-Man games were all made and published by Activision, right? Um, Activision is a third-party developer. They came out with Crash Bandicoot, which seemed to be exclusive last year, but what did they do? They put it on everybody's platform. Yeah, because they make more money that way. This Spider-Man game is not made by Activision. It is not published by Activision. It's published by Sony. It has the only on PlayStation logo on it. It's been confirmed to be PlayStation um, by Insomniac multiple times. So that's not going to happen. Shit can always change in licensing, Jay. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. So you get nothing. You lose. No, JTEC, you lose. Because this whole video, I got to shit on every stupid point you made, and I get views out of this. So technically, I win. So before this video ends, I wanted to put up a couple of clips or a picture and a clip from what Zildjian said and what he sent me. I'm going to put that clip up now so you guys can look and see Zildjian's message to JTEC to show him if he wants to come back on the show, he can, but also his like personal opinion, how he wanted to find out who he is. So here's the uh, message. So, as you see, that is what Diljan had to say, and I was in that live stream. I can vouch for him. JTEC was being very, very rude, and at the end of the live stream, JTEC even said, like, I don't agree with any point you made, and it was really dumb and just stupid and childish. But before I leave, I'm going to end it with one last clip of what JTEC said, and Zild wanted me to put this in the video. Oh my god, it is hilarious. Just just enjoy. On my big-ass TV, on my Xbox with a controller. I would love, I can play on a controller on, on my computer, but I don't see the point in it. I would love for him to come to console, because then, you know what? More people can play them. I want to see Postal and all the games I play come to the PS4, come to the Switch, come to the Xbox. I don't see what's, I don't see why so much of the Sony, I don't. You're, uh, you're talking about a killing simulator called Postal. What's wrong with that And game? I do you believe that the ESRB are, are going to actually approve that game?